Let's look at fixing EQ problems first. Now, if we were to take an EQ like this and we could ramp up the gain and we'll narrow up that Q so that therefore we are just boosting a very small band of frequencies, then we can sweep that all the way up to the top of the spectrum, all the way down until our ugly problem just pops its head straight out. Once it's popped its head out and we've identified it, then we can take the gain and we can pull that down to get rid of that problem. Now I've put that little gremlin in kind of, you can see he's still there. It's not like you can get rid of him completely, but with a narrow enough cue and the right type of problem, you can really get a lot of these problems, just suck them right out with a very narrow band EQ. Let's look at a practical example. Okay, let's look at EQ problems first. I'll play this song. And boy, can you hear that big hum? In fact, if I solo this guitar, it's right on this guitar track. Now, if you're listening on little tinny laptop speakers, you may not be able to hear that hum, but if you're listening with headphones or through some decent speakers, you'll hear there's a nasty hum on that guitar. So we can use the technique that we learned just a little while ago by turning on this EQ. And what I'll do is turn on this band here. Do you remember what we did? We ramped up the gain, we narrowed down the Q, right? And then we sweep that Q around until that problem frequency pops its head up. Let's have a listen. Do you hear how we're sweeping through that? Bingo. There you go. We can hear that really loud and clear right here. So do you remember what we did now? We've accentuated that area. So it's kind of like that whack-a-mole technique. If you've ever gone to the, uh, the fair and you've seen that whack-a-mole is where the whole idea is you wait for the little mole to throw its head up and then you try to hit it. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to accentuate the problem. We're certainly not going to leave it like that. We've just made the problem worse. But what we did by making it worse, we've allowed it to kind of stick up its ugly head. Then we can take this gain and we can just chop that straight out. Check out how it sounds. It's taken a lot of that out. Check it out, here's with it in. So the trick to fixing problems in your frequency spectrum, and it could be something like a nasally quality and a vocal, maybe a boominess and a floor tom, to maybe in this example, which was a hum on a guitar track, what you end up doing is cranking up the gain, make sure the cue is nice and narrow, and then just sweep through until you find the problem, then suck it out.